We live on a planet brimming with countless wonders, and sometimes the most mysterious and bizarre finds emerge. These discoveries remind us of how little we know about the world we call home. These discoveries often occur when we least expect them, in the most unlikely times and places. One by one, weird discoveries reveal themselves from all around the globe. From a mysterious corpse stuck inside a tree to a 2,000-year-old receipt, here are the 20 strangest things recently discovered. Number 20. Inside a tree trunk for 60 years. In 1980, a group of loggers working for the Georgia Craft Corporation were cutting down a chestnut oak tree, just doing their usual job, when suddenly they stumbled upon something bizarre. Hidden in a hollow park near the top of the tree was a mummified hunting dog. Of course, the loggers were bewildered about how the dog ended up inside the tree. It's a real head-scratcher. Experts think that this adventurous pup probably got himself into a bit of a pickle. Imagine him chasing after some small game, getting deeper and deeper into that tree hollow until he found himself a whopping 28 feet up. And just as luck would have it, he got stuck. Poor Stucky. Now, for a little not-so-fun fact, some sources claim that the name Stucky was given to the dog after a naming competition in 2002, and I would say it's a little mean and ironic. But how exactly did Stucky get stuck and preserved inside the tree? But here's where things get even more fascinating. Usually, when an organism dies, it starts to decompose because microorganisms in the body go unchecked. The body bloats, decays, and becomes a feast for bacteria, fungi, insects, and microorganisms. But Stucky, well, he had a different fate. The way this doggy was mummified instead of rotting away is mind-boggling. You see, the hollow tree acted as a chamber, creating a chimney effect. This caused an upward draft of air. This draft carried away the scent of the dead animal, which would have usually attracted insects and other critters looking for a decaying meal. Plus, the tree provided a relatively dry environment, and the oak itself contained tannic acid, which helped preserve poor Stucky's skin. Tannin, the substance found in the oak, absorbs moisture. It keeps the environment inside the tree so dry that microbial activity stopped. No decay, no bacteria. That's why Stucky's body remained in such astonishingly good condition for all these years. It's like he's frozen in time. Number 19. Mysterious Well to Hell This massive hole at the bottom of the ground is said to be the passageway to hell. Located in eastern Yemen, the hole known as the Well of Barut intrigues the locals and experts. Almost a hundred feet wide, no one knows how deep this well stretches. Many believe it's between 330 to 830 feet deep, but to this day, no one can know for sure. Now, why haven't people ventured down to explore the depths? You see, there are chilling legends and stories circulating about this place that would make even the bravest of souls think twice. Even Yemeni scientists and explorers have attempted the descent, only to be forced back to the surface by low oxygen levels and strange odors emanating from the well. That's right, there's something eerie going on down there. Those who have dared to approach or even get close to the Well of Barut have reported an overwhelming and unbearable stench that hangs in the air. Unfortunately, because of the ongoing conflict in the country, the mystery surrounding the Well to Hell might remain mysterious for years. Number 18. Picasso's Lapdog This is Picasso's La Moulin de la Galette. It captures the vibrant vibes of a happening Parisian dance hall. Picasso's genius brushwork brings to life many couples dancing their hearts out, flaunting fancy hats like they're the hottest trend in town. And right in the front, we have three figures seated at a table, minding their own business. Or so we thought. This dance hall gives me quite a dark and gloomy impression, but it turns out that there's something strange in the painting. The Guggenheim experts, together with our art pals from the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the National Gallery of Art, examined Picasso's painting once again. And what did they discover? Picasso had pulled off a sneaky move by hiding a playful pup in the painting. Art experts used a nifty technique called X-ray fluorescence to bring our furry friend back to life. They uncovered the chemical elements in the painting, giving them a clear picture of what the dog looked like before Picasso covered it up. But why exactly did he do it? Well, it's most likely that Picasso decided the pooch stole the highlight of the painting, and so he turned the pup into a coat. Number 17. The Ringing Rocks of Pennsylvania 
Hidden within the serene landscapes of Pennsylvania lie rocks that possess an uncanny ability to produce musical tones. Unlike ordinary stones that don't sound like anything when you tap or hit them, the ringing rocks of Pennsylvania, well, ring. Nestled amidst the tranquil countryside, these remarkable rocks offer a unique auditory experience. Composed of basalt, a volcanic rock, the ringing rocks possess acoustic properties that set them apart from their silent counterparts. When struck with a hammer or another rock, these stones unleash a symphony of resonating tones, creating an enchanting melodic symphony. The secret to their harmonious performance lies in the intricate combination of their composition and arrangement. Scientists theorize that the specific structure of the rocks and the resonance they create when struck contribute to this intriguing phenomena. So if you ever find yourself in Pennsylvania, make it a point to visit the ringing rocks. Bring along a hammer and embrace the chance to strike these magical stones, for in doing so, you'll unlock a captivating world of geological harmonies. Number 16. The Geometric Miracle In 2022, a team of skilled archaeologists made a jaw-dropping discovery beneath an Egyptian temple. This mind-boggling tunnel stretches an impressive 4,300 feet, carved right into the rock approximately 42 feet beneath the ground. The temple in question is the renowned Temple of Teposiris Magna, located west of the magnificent city of Alexandria. Paying homage to Osiris, the Egyptian god of death, this temple has impressed archaeologists with its geometrical features. It's said to resemble Greece's Jubilinos Tunnel, but it's even longer. Imagine the engineering prowess and dedication required to carve out such an intricate network of tunnels. What's more, within the temple complex, the researchers made yet another extraordinary discovery. 16 burial sites housed within rock-carved tombs. These tombs were commonly used during the Greek and Roman periods, adding another layer of historical richness to the site. Can you imagine unearthing coins adorned with the images and names of the legendary Queen Cleopatra and the great conqueror Alexander the Great? And because of how wonderfully the temple was built, many believe it's a geometric miracle. Number 15. Stone of Destiny Anomalies Earlier this year, a closer examination of the Stone of Destiny, a remarkable carved seat dating back to the 13th century, unveiled some mesmerizing secrets that remained hidden until now. This enigmatic Scottish stone played a central role in the ceremony of the British monarch's coronation. But what has caught the attention of scientists is the discovery of previously undocumented symbols and peculiar features adorning the stone. Despite its lengthy history, these newly revealed anomalies have left experts astounded. It seems that the Stone of Destiny, also known as the Stone of Scone, holds hidden aspects of its past that have eluded historical records. Recently, scientists from Historic Environment Scotland examined the artifact once again to reveal its secrets. Armed with laser scanning technology and scientific tests, they've shed new light on its enigmatic nature. During their exploration, the researchers stumbled upon markings resembling Roman numerals. A fascinating revelation. Three X-shaped marks and a peculiar V symbol have left the experts scratching their heads. While they may indeed be Roman numerals, there's also the possibility that they represent other intriguing symbols lost to time. Could this anomaly be connected to a long-lost relic or a cherished artifact associated with a significant figure from the past? Number 14. New Version of the Gospel of Matthew a historian recently stumbled upon a hidden fragment of the Bible in the Vatican that has never been seen before. Can you believe it? A historian, while studying a text in the Vatican, uncovered a secret piece of the Gospel of Matthew. This version of the Gospel, written in Old Syriac, differs from what we currently find in the Bible. So how did experts manage to unveil this hidden text? They used ultraviolet photography to reveal what was hidden beneath the surface. You see, back in the Middle Ages, parchment was in short supply, so scribes often reused it by writing over older texts. Now here's where it gets even more fascinating. The topmost layer of the parchment contained a text written in Georgian, and underneath that, they found an earlier text in Greek. But when a scholar examined UV images from the Vatican Library, they discovered yet another layer beneath the Greek text. This hidden layer was the old Syriac version of Matthew 12.1. Experts think someone copied this verse onto the parchment during the 6th century, and based on the language used, he estimates that the original version might have been produced in the 3rd century. To put it into perspective, this newly found text is about 200 years younger than the rest of the Gospel of Matthew. Number 13. The Florida Goblet 
Now let's talk about the Florida Goblet. This stunning spectacle remained a hidden gem until the rise of Google Earth, which allowed people to uncover its unique form. Some people see it as a majestic goblet with a crown on top, while others perceive it as a dazzling chandelier. But one thing everyone agrees on is its sheer size. It stretches a whopping 1,600 feet in length and 770 feet in width, with lines forming the top and bottom about 13 meters wide. It's so massive that if you're standing on the ground, you wouldn't even realize it has this extraordinary shape. In case you want to see it, this spectacle is located in a rural area of Uruguay, around seven miles from the city of Florida. The locals also call it the El Candelabro. One of the most incredible ways to admire this mind-bending landmark is through Google Earth itself, the very tool that brought it fame online. You can also catch a glimpse from an airplane or use a drone, but you'll need to fly it pretty high to capture its true magnificence. So why did someone shape this Uruguayan eucalyptus plantation in such a peculiar way? Well, there isn't a ton of clear information on that, but some say it's actually the cattle brand of the rancher who owns the land where these trees were planted. In Uruguay, ranchers have been branding their cattle since the early 19th century, and back then, each rancher designed their own unique brand. Pretty cool, huh? Number 12. The Lost City of Rungholt It was said that the lost city of Rungholt was swallowed by the ocean back in 1362 as its people became too greedy. For so long, it was believed this place was just a thing of legends, but a recent discovery revealed otherwise. A team of archaeologists used advanced techniques to explore the mudflats near a small island in the Wadden Sea off the coast of Germany. And what did they find? Well, they discovered remnants of a drainage system, a harbor, and the foundation of a church, including an impressive central church. These findings provide compelling evidence that Rungholt was more than just a legend. According to the story, Rungholt was once a bustling medieval town filled with taverns, brothels, and churches, but its people indulged in sinful behavior, disrespecting religion and flaunting their wealth. Legend has it that a storm struck the region in 1362, and soon after, the town vanished beneath the waves. Now, researchers are racing against time to uncover more about Rungholt before it's lost to the sea forever. Number 11. The Remains of a Hated King in 2012, a group of researchers and archaeologists embarked on an excavation in Leicester, hoping to uncover the remains of none other than King Richard III himself. And guess what? They struck gold. Well, not literally, but they did find a skeleton buried beneath the car park, and now DNA tests have confirmed that it's indeed the long-lost monarch. The scientists behind this groundbreaking discovery are absolutely convinced beyond any shadow of a doubt that the skeleton they found belongs to King Richard III. They've compared the mitochondrial DNA from the bones to that of Michael Ibsen, a direct descendant of Richard III's sister and another relative who prefers to stay anonymous. The DNA matches up, sealing the deal on this historical identification. But that's not all. The evidence just keeps piling up. During their search and subsequent tests, the experts discovered battle wounds on the skeleton and signs of scoliosis a curvature of the spine. These findings not only align with the DNA results, but also challenge the age-old image of Richard III as a hunchbacked villain. It seems like history might need a little rewrite after all. Number 10. Royal Hairpin and the Toilet Deep within the bowels of history, and I mean that quite literally, archaeologists made a discovery that left them in awe. They found a hairpin belonging to none other than Catherine herself in the most unexpected place. A toilet? Yes, you heard that right. Catherine, a prominent figure in history, had lost her precious hairpin, and fate had conspired to preserve it for centuries in the depths of a commode. The distinctive 9-centimeter pin, with interlocking C's representing Catherine, was quickly recognized due to its unique features. Once the ancient dirt was removed, the conservator of Fontainebleau Palace observed a white and green finish, which is associated with Catherine's colors. We still don't know how the hairpin got into the public toilet. There is a chance that a lady-in-waiting might have taken the artifact, or it could have been stolen and accidentally dropped into the location. Number 9. Renaissance-era Urine Flask Earlier this year, archaeologists made a stunning discovery. Ancient urine flasks. A Renaissance-era hospital called the Ospedale de Formari was built atop the ancient Caesar's Forum. And within the ruins of this hospital, 
Archaeologists stumbled upon a treasure trove of artifacts, including something truly unique, 500-year-old urine flasks. Now, you might be wondering why on earth anyone would collect urine in flasks, right? Well, in those days, European doctors believed that analyzing urine could help diagnose various diseases like jaundice and diabetes. Talk about a bizarre approach to medicine. The excavation took place at the hospital's trash dump, where the artifacts have been lying undisturbed for centuries. These findings provide a captivating glimpse into past practices and remind us of the fascinating and sometimes peculiar ways our ancestors approached medical science. Number 8. 2,000-Year-Old Emoji During recent excavations at the Tassal de la Cala Roman Fort in Benidorm, archaeologists from the University of Alicante stumbled upon an incredible discovery. Nestled amidst the ancient ruins, they stumbled upon three rock carvings that have stood the test of time for a jaw-dropping 2,000 years. The carvings include a face, a phallus, yep, you heard that right, and a cornucopia. These ancient etchings, measuring 57 by 42 centimeters, are believed to hold significant historical value. But let's focus on the carving of a smiley face. It's like ancient emoji. Number 7. Mayan Scoreboard in a fascinating discovery at the Mayan Chichen Itza site on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, archaeologists have unearthed the Mayan scoreboard that sheds light on the ancient ball game played by the Mayan civilization. Archaeologist Lisbeth Beatriz Mendicut Perez made the discovery during her examination of the site's Casa Colorado. Buried about a foot and a half underground, the circular stone, estimated to be 1,100 years old, weighs 88 pounds and measures 12.6 inches in diameter. The scoreboard, as described by Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History, features two figures depicted as opposing players, along with a representation of a ball and hieroglyphic writing. The two players are portrayed in different attire, possibly indicating they belong to different teams. While the athletic imagery is intriguing, it's the hieroglyphic writing on the scoreboard that has captivated archaeologists. Hieroglyphic texts are relatively rare at this Mayan site, and the discovery of a complete text is even rarer. In fact, this marks the first such find in 11 years. Number 6. 3,000-Year-Old Mummy Under Trash A group of students and researchers from San Marcos University made a remarkable discovery that sheds light on the rich cultural and ritualistic practices of the past. And they found it in the unlikeliest place. Students stumbled upon the remains of the mummy's hair and skull, carefully preserved within a bundle made of cotton and vegetable fiber cloth. Little did they know that beneath eight tons of rubbish, they would unveil the rest of this ancient treasure hidden within a trash pile. The mummy, dated to a time preceding the Inca Empire, harkens back to the era of the Manche culture, which flourished between 1000 BCE and 200 CE. According to experts, this particular mummy was likely offered as a sacrifice during the final stages of the temple's construction, as part of a foundation ritual commonly observed across South American regions. Such rituals accompanied the construction of notable structures, symbolizing a connection between the physical and spiritual realms. The precise origin of the mummy remains unknown, but scientists have determined it to be a male. Number 5. First Century Coins from Jewish Revolt Recent research has unearthed a remarkable discovery that sheds light on the historical interactions between Romans and the Jews. Archaeologists stumbled upon these Roman-era coins at Colchis, a region nestled near the Black Sea in western Georgia. Through careful analysis, it was revealed that some of these coins were actually brought to the site by a military unit that had participated in the conflict against Jewish rebels during the First Jewish Revolt. Although it may be highly likely that the very soldiers who fought in the Holy Land also left the coins behind in Georgia, it's more likely that they stayed within the unit as new soldiers joined their ranks. As time passed, these precious coins became a part of the unit's heritage, traveling with them on their journeys. Now let's go back to the turbulent times of the first Jewish revolt against the Romans, which began around AD 66. The conflict witnessed the Roman fall of Jerusalem and the tragic destruction of the Second Temple in AD 70. The revolt raged on until the famous Roman siege of Masada, where a courageous group of Jewish defenders made a fateful decision to take their own lives rather than face enslavement or death at the hands of the Romans. It was a tumultuous period in history, filled with strife and resistance. 
Most of the coins studied by experts were discovered between 2015 and 2022 by a collaborative Polish-Georgian team at the formidable fort of Apsaros in Kolchis. What's truly intriguing is that among these coins, a few were actually minted by the Jewish rebels themselves. These rebel coins bore various inscriptions and captivating imagery, including depictions of pomegranates and chalices. Number 4. The Tallest Tree in Asia Standing tall at a staggering 335 feet, this majestic cypress surpasses even the mighty Statue of Liberty, which stands at a mere 305 feet. And this is the tallest tree in Asia. It's not just the height that's impressive. This tree boasts a colossal diameter of 9.6 feet. It's a true titan of the forest. This wonder was found in the breathtaking Yarlung Zangbo Grand Canyon Nature Reserve in Baomei County, Ningxi City, within the Tibet Autonomous Region of China. Now, the exact species of this colossal cypress is still a bit of a mystery, with some sources pointing towards a Himalayan origin, while others lean towards Tibetan. Either way, we can all agree that this tree is an absolute giant. Before this arboreal wonder claimed the spotlight, Asia's tallest tree was a yellow maranti reaching a lofty height of 331 feet in the Danam Valley Conservation Area of Sabah, Malaysia. Currently, however, the tallest tree on the planet is a magnificent coastal redwood reaching an astonishing height of 381 feet, residing in California's Redwood National Park. Aptly named Hyperion after one of the mighty titans of Greek mythology, this tree has reigned supreme since its discovery in 2006. But who knows what secrets lie hidden in the depths of unexplored forests? Are there even more colossal trees waiting to be discovered? Number 3. 2,700-year-old petroglyphs Earlier this year, researchers unveiled a collection of approximately 40 petroglyphs that will take us back a staggering 2,700 years. These ancient carvings, etched into the granite rock face, showcase a variety of captivating images, from ships, people, and even animal figures. You see, these petroglyphs were carved into the rock face of an island. People thousands of years ago carved these petroglyphs while standing on a boat or platform on ice. So how were these intricate carvings made? Well, our ancestors weren't equipped with modern carving tools. Instead, they relied on the power of hard stones. By striking the granite rock face, they revealed a layer underneath, creating a stark contrast and making the petroglyphs highly visible. In fact, these carvings could be spotted all the way from the mainland or even by passing ships. Now here is the million dollar question, why did they create these mesmerizing petroglyphs? While we don't have a definitive answer, experts believe that they might have served as markers of ownership, but it's highly likely that the figures also tell a story. Number 2. 7,000-year-old sunken road Here's another recent discovery unveiled in 2023. Archaeologists discovered this remarkable find off the coast of Croatia, a road dating back 7,000 years laying hidden beneath the Adriatic Sea near the Croatian island of Korkula. This ancient road, which once connected the island to a man-made landmass, has sat silently beneath the waves for centuries. But thanks to the efforts of passionate archaeologists, its secrets are finally being unveiled. The road, found about 16 feet below the water's surface, consists of meticulously placed stone plates, forming a pathway roughly 13 feet wide. Over time, Layers of mud concealed this remarkable structure, preserving it for us to discover. The experts believe this impressive stone roadway was constructed by the Havar, a lost maritime culture that thrived during the Neolithic period. They think this road served as a vital link between the island of Korkula and a nearby Havar settlement called Selin. What's more, archaeologists also made another amazing find during their survey, a submerged settlement, also called Selin, residing on an artificial landmass. Through radiocarbon dating of wood found at the site, these intrepid archaeologists estimated that the Selene settlement dates back to around 4900 BC. Can you imagine? People walked on this same road almost 7,000 years ago, shaping their lives and journeys on this ancient path. And now it's time for today's topic. What a man just found in a forbidden area of the Grand Canyon shocked the whole world. Now this photo has ignited a storm of speculation and theories leaving experts befuddled. It's no secret that the Grand Canyon has always been a land of wonder, with its deep canyons and landscapes. As this photo circulated, theories started to pour in like a flood. Could it be evidence of an ancient Egyptian expedition that ventured to the American continent? 
Were these artifacts brought here by time travelers or extraterrestrial beings? Or perhaps there's a secret underground network of tunnels connecting civilizations throughout history, and the Grand Canyon serves as a crossroads of ancient cultures. Number 1. 2000 Year Old Stone Receipt Imagine going shopping and going all out. You get a huge haul, and when you arrive at the cash register, they hand you a chunk of stone for a receipt. You see, in ancient times, this is how it unfolded. In ancient times, people didn't have fancy paper receipts like we do today. They used something much heavier and more durable. Stone. Imagine that. Recently, archaeologists made an incredible discovery at the city of David in Jerusalem. They found a small rock that was actually the lid of a burial chest. And guess what? It had writing on it. This rock, about the size of a hand, had seven lines of text on it, although some parts were a bit worn out. The readable text, however, made it clear what it was. It seems like this stone was used as a proof of purchase or a record of transactions. Experts believe it was also a means for people back then to keep track of workers' money or debt. Now here's the exciting part. This particular stone was found in a debris pile during an excavation on Pilgrimage Road. This road was a bustling place back when Jerusalem was part of the Roman Empire. It was like the city's shopping center, where people would buy and sell all sorts of things. Archaeologists have found other stone weights and measuring tables in the area, suggesting that this road was a commercial hotspot. You won't believe it, but this stone receipt is quite unique. While similar inscriptions have been found in the region, this is the first one of its kind discovered in Jerusalem. By examining the type of script used and comparing it to other stones, the experts were able to estimate that this receipt dates back to somewhere between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AD. That's over 2,000 years ago. In time, similar discoveries might emerge. This shows that we still have a lot to discover. Which of these discoveries did you like the most? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.